After sampling work is complete, gross cleaning of yourself and all equipment should occur as far away as possible from the disease incident epicenter, but also some distance away from the personal decontamination site. Great care must be taken not to breach PPE during gross cleaning. Remove all visible contamination from your PPE, preferably via a vigorous hosing and scrub down with detergent. Systematically remove all visible contamination and thoroughly clean your esky. Sampling containers, paperwork, all equipment and personal items still contained in clip seal bags with detergent and water. Move to the personal decontamination site, bringing all equipment and items along. Approach the personal decontamination site then rinse gloves in the disinfectant tub as a precautionary measure before handling samples. Place disposable sampling equipment from the ESKI in the biohazard bag previously placed on the dirty side during the setup procedure. Remove samples from the ESKI without opening secondary containers, for example clip seal bags. Carefully spray secondary containers with a disinfectant solution like Vercon, then double bag. Disinfect again and place across the imaginary line onto the clean side of the drop sheet. If using only one sample esky, disinfect ice bricks and place across to the clean side. Then empty the esky of any liquids. Disinfect the esky and place it across the imaginary line to the clean side before placing disinfected ice bricks and samples back inside. Follow the same disinfection and double bagging procedure for paperwork and personal items such as your mobile phone and car keys. Disinfect and place all disposable equipment such as the sharps container in a biohazard bag on the dirty side. Clean and scrub any remaining debris from reusable equipment in the detergent tub, then disinfect by rinsing in the disinfectant tub or by spraying with disinfectant. Place disinfected equipment in the garbage bag previously positioned on the clean side near the imaginary line. This bag will serve as an equipment bag for reusable equipment. A bucket previously containing items carried onto the premises was also used for gross cleaning. Clean and scrub any remaining debris from this bucket in the detergent tub. Then disinfect by rinsing in the disinfectant tub or by spraying with disinfectant. Place this bucket across the imaginary line to the clean side. This bucket can now be used to place other disinfected items in. Rinse your hands in the disinfectant tub as a precautionary measure. Step into the detergent tub and thoroughly scrub your boots. Ensure you remove all visible contaminated material including from your boot treads. Such material may have accumulated while moving from the gross cleaning site to the personal decontamination site. A hoof pick or screwdriver works well to get this debris out. No visible organic material should remain following this process. Clean your cleaning equipment, such as the brushes and hoof pick or screwdriver that you use to scrub your equipment and boots, and place across to the disinfectant tub. Now step from the detergent tub into the disinfectant tub and scrub your boots again. Disinfect your cleaning equipment and place in the equipment bag for reusable equipment. Step out of the disinfectant tub onto the dirty side of the drop sheet. Mist your outer layer of disposable overalls or waterproof gear with disinfectant such as Vercon prior to removal. If you're wearing a hat, soak it in the disinfectant tub. Then place it in the equipment bag for reusable equipment. Remove duct tape from overall sleeves. Then remove the outer gloves by turning them inside out. After removing the first glove, slip one finger inside the outer glove on the other hand to avoid touching the contaminated side. Turn this glove inside out as well, leaving the first glove rolled up inside the second. Dispose of gloves by placing in a biohazard bag on the dirty side. If you're wearing a PAPR, this device should now be removed. Remove the respirator, then unclip the body of the device from your waist. 
unscrew the air filters and dispose of them in a biohazard bag on the dirty side. Disinfect the entire device. You can use a sponge to wipe disinfectant over the battery pack. Place the PAPR in a new garbage bag. Seal and spray with disinfectant. Then double bag, seal and disinfect again and place on the clean side. Now remove your outer disposable overalls or waterproofs. Once the hood is pulled back and overalls unzipped, avoid touching the outside of the overalls as you remove them. Peel and roll the disposable overalls off and away from your body and down around your ankles over the rubber boots, leaving them wrapped around the boots. Step out of the boots and outer layer of disposable overalls and onto the clean side of the drop sheet. Remove overalls from the boots, roll them up and place them in the biohazard bag on the dirty side. Rinse the outer surface of the gum boots in the disinfectant tub and place in a garbage bag containing your other reusable equipment on the clean side. Rinse your hands in the disinfectant tub as a precautionary measure. Now remove your inner overalls in the same manner as your outer pair. Roll them up and place in a biohazard bag on the dirty side. Once again, rinse your hands in the disinfectant tub as a precautionary measure. If you're wearing a full face respirator, this device should now be removed. Lean forward, loosen the straps and remove the device away from your face. Unscrew the air filters and dispose them in a biohazard bag on the dirty side. Disinfect the entire device and place in a garbage bag containing your other reusable equipment on the clean side. If you're wearing a P2 particulate respirator and protective eyewear, this should also be removed at this point. Lean forward and remove your protective eyewear by pulling the straps from the back of your head forward. Disinfect your eyewear and place in a garbage bag containing your other reusable equipment on the clean side. Lean forward and remove the P2 respirator by pulling the straps from the back of the head forward whilst taking care not to touch the outside of the respirator. Dispose of the respirator by placing in a biohazard bag on the dirty side. If you're not wearing a respiratory protective device, you can now use a cable tie to seal one or more biohazard bags used on the dirty side. Spray them with disinfectant, then double bag in another biohazard bag. Seal and disinfect again. Then throw it into the hot zone for later biosecure disposal or collection if the premises is assessed negative. Disinfect the equipment bag containing reusable equipment. Seal and spray with disinfectant. Then double bag, seal and disinfect again and place on the clean side. Ensure that all disinfected equipment bags that contain reusable equipment or clothes have been moved to the clean area. Rinse your hands in the disinfectant tub as a precautionary measure. Next, seal the esky with duct tape. Spray the esky with disinfectant. The specimen advice sheet, which was previously double bagged and disinfected in the clip seal bag, should ideally be taped to the top of the esky, not placed inside. The specimen advice sheet must accompany all samples that should be appropriately repackaged in a biosecure manner prior to transport to the laboratory. Ensure that all other equipment that has been disinfected and placed into the clean area is now packed up and moved to the cold zone between the drop sheet and the vehicle. Tip out the tubs containing detergent and disinfectant, ensuring that water flows in the direction of the hot zone. Then disinfect the inside, sides and bottom of each tub with disinfectant spray. After disinfection, move tubs to the cold zone between the drop sheet and your vehicle. Disinfect all other remaining buckets that contain biohazard or equipment bags and move to the cold zone between the drop sheet and the vehicle. For suspect foot and mouth disease investigations, it's recommended that you disinfect and scrub all potential contaminated parts and exposed skin with citric acid or chlorhexidine. Don't forget to wash your hair and feet. Dress in your clean clothes and hat. Put your shoes and socks on. Do not cross back into the dirty area for any reason. 
carefully without contaminating your clean clothes. Collect and dispose of the disposable drop sheet in the biohazard bag. Remove your remaining inner pair of gloves in the same manner as the first, taking care not to touch the outside of your gloves with your bare hand. Put the remaining pair of gloves in the biohazard bag containing the drop sheet. Use a cable tie to seal the biohazard bag containing the drop sheet and inner gloves. Spray it with disinfectant, then double bag in another biohazard bag, seal and disinfect again. Then throw it into the hot zone for later biosecure disposal or collection if the premises is assessed negative. Liberally wash your hands, arms and face in clean water with citric acid or chlorhexidine scrub. Your skin may also be cleaned with an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Let wash skin air dry or dry with a paper towel. Place the paper towel in the garbage bag used for items disposed of on the clean side only. As a precautionary measure, double bag and disinfect the garbage bag used on the clean side. Remove personal items such as your mobile phone and car keys from the decontaminated clip seal bags. Then pack all decontaminated equipment, paperwork, the esky containing the samples and any other items remaining in the clean zone into your vehicle. Finally, remember to place a no entry sign and to secure the premises entrance upon your departure.